The language of the new resolution is one of urgency. It is also carefully formulated in general terms, aiming to garner as much support as possible. The text, drafted by Ukraine with help from allies, underscores the urgency to find a comprehensive, just and lasting peace. It also demands a cessation of hostilities, not a ceasefire, and an unconditional and complete withdrawal of Russian forces from the territory of Ukraine within its internationally recognized borders, including the four regions unilaterally annexed by Russia last year. But it makes no direct reference to President Volodymyr Zelensky's 10-point peace plan presented at the G20 summit in November. The aim is to make it more difficult not to back the text. Two previous resolutions over the past year were adopted with an overwhelming majority. However, Russia did find support from its friends and allies. The first one in March, condemning Russia's invasion and demanding an immediate end to its military operations, saw five countries voting against. Russia, Belarus, North Korea, Eritrea and Syria. 35 others abstained, mostly in Asia and Africa. A second resolution, adopted in the wake of Russia's illegal annexation of four regions in eastern Ukraine, again saw five votes against and 35 abstentions. This time, Eritrea abstained instead of voting no, while Nicaragua joined the no camp. Once again, a majority of abstentions came from Africa, where many countries rely on Russian grain exports, alongside China and India, two big buyers of Russian oil. Turkey, meanwhile, approved both resolutions. This week, 191 members are eligible to vote, with Lebanon and Venezuela temporarily suspended due to arrears in the payment of their financial contributions.